I first found out about my grandfather Lester after I'd commissioned. I came home for Christmas leave and told everyone my stories about OCS. And my great grandmother, so Lester's would be daughter in law, um, said, Oh, well, you had a grandfather in the Marine Corps, too. And I, was, I didn't know it at the time. And so she pulled out a photo of him with two other Marines and said, Yeah, that's your grandfather in the middle. And he was killed somewhere in France. I am Captain Ashley Ann Wallace, great great granddaughter of Private Lester Wayne Mullins, killed 11 June 1918 in Bella Wood. So that's all I had. I'd known initially, and my grandfather, Lester's grandson, pulled out a file and there's a few letters in there from Lester, one which said that they were in France and they were, in, they were talking about the, the cows in the Lago train and how they were great cows. Um, and then I later found out that he was in Bella Wood with the six Marines and was killed in Bella Wood. So a brand new second lieutenant full of, of Marine Corps esprit de corps. Um, it, was, it was amazing. It was amazing, amazing to find out that information. My family's very proud of their history. And even though Lester's getting to France wasn't under the most ideal circumstances, Lester wanted a little bit more out of life before settling down into parenthood. They were extremely proud to, to send me over there with as much knowledge as they had to pass on and to say, oh yeah, go over there, see him. And, by the way, visit this place while you're there because that's where his grandson was. Um, and then to come back and tell them what I saw and what it was like to see the gravestone, having been the second person in our family now to see it, was a great way to pull everybody back together and just add another chapter to our family's history. So having never met my grandfather and never having been to Bella Wood, Coming here, it helps me to connect with a family member I've never met, and also to help connect with a piece of Marine Corps history that it both together just make it such an incredible experience. So for me, to be able to connect with my family member and share the experience with all the other Marines that are here, I'll remember it forever. When we discovered that's approximately where he was killed, and then a few yards from there, that's where he was temporarily buried along with other Marines that were killed that day. We stop and we, we look around and we see the woods haven't changed that much. Sure, there's, there's new growth and everything, but the sight line is, is basically the same. And so to know that that's where he took his last breath, saw his last vision, and then to know that he never saw the baby waiting for him at home. He never came home to see the Rockies again. It makes you think, God, I mean, he made the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice, just like so many Marines and soldiers have done for years in the past. So although he, he left Colorado, not under the best circumstances, he sh probably should have held out for his responsibilities. He left to serve, and he, he served like he said he would. He just never made it home.